In this video, we'll be rationalizing denominators with two terms. To rationalize a denominator with two terms, multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by the conjugate of the bottom, or the denominator. The conjugate of a binomial is formed by negating the second term. The conjugate of 2 plus 5 root 5 is 2 minus 5 root 5. The conjugate of negative 1 plus root 2 is negative 1 minus root 2. The conjugate of 4 minus 6i is 4 plus 6i. So notice on all of these you keep the two terms as they are and just change the sign of that middle operation. So here we change the plus to a minus, here we change the plus to a minus, and here we change the minus to a plus. Now the reason for multiplying by the conjugate, let me just show one of these. I'll take this first one. If I multiplied 2 plus 5 root 5 times 2 minus 5 root 5. And we'll just multiply the binomials with FOIL like we normally would. Um, the product of the first two, 2 times 2, is 4. Then 2 times negative 5 root 5 is a negative 10 root 5. And then my inner product 5 root 5 times 2 is plus 10 root 5. And then 5 root 5 times negative 5 root 5 is a negative 25 times 5. So you'll notice that when we multiply this using FOIL, the middle terms will cancel because this one's a negative 10 root 5 and this one's a positive 10 root 5. And all we need to do is take 4 and then minus and then 25 times 5 is 125. 4 minus 125 is a negative 121. So this now is a rational number. Let's just look at uh, this last one, too. We'll go ahead and multiply that. 4 minus 6i multiplied by 4 plus 6i. We'll use FOIL again. 4 times 4 is 16. And then 4 times 6i is a positive 24i. And now I'm ready for the negative 6i to be distributed. Negative 6i times 4 is a negative 24i. And then negative 6i times positive 6i is a negative 36i squared. Again, our middle terms, one's positive, one's negative, those cancel. That always happens when you multiply conjugates. And we end up with 16 and uh, minus 36 times, and we know that i squared is defined as negative 1. So this simplifies to 16, 36, negative 36 times negative 1 is a positive 36. So that is 52 which again is a rational number, rational number. Let's do a problem. We're asked to simplify this fraction. The numerator is 4 plus the square root of 3, and the denominator is 2 minus 3 root 3. So I have a binomial, two terms, in the denominator. So I need to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of this denominator. The conjugate 
all we're going to do is change this minus to a plus. So the conjugate is 2 plus 3 root 3. I need to do that multiplication on the top and the bottom. All right. So this process is a little time consuming, but uh, not difficult at all. We're going to use FOIL in the numerator here. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 root 3 is 12 root 3. And then root 3 times 2 is 2 root 3. And then root 3 times 3 root 3 is 3 times 3. Because root 3 times root 3 is just the 3. Now let's do the bottom. Um, we'll use FOIL again, and I'm going to go ahead and write the two middle terms, but after you do this a number of times, you'll get to where you don't need to write that if you don't want to. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then 2 times 3 root 3 is 6 root 3. Now we'll do the negative 3 root 3. Negative 3 root 3 times 2 is a negative 6 root 3. And a negative 3 root 3 times positive 3 root 3 is a negative 9 times 3. As I take our 3 coefficient here multiplied by the 3 coefficient here. That's how we got the 9. And then root 3 times root 3 is just 3. All right, let's do some simplifying. Uh, first of all, we know that this positive 6 root 3 and this negative 6 root 3 are going to cancel. Um, we can also combine the radical terms. So we have 8 plus... Uh, 12 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 14 root 3. And then plus 9 back here in the back. Um, in the bottom I have 4 minus 9 times 3 is 27. Um, I can combine my 8 and my 9. So this is... 17 plus, and then 14 root 3, and that'll be over a negative 23. You could also write this uh, with this negative taken through the top, distributed, so you could write this as a negative 17 minus 14 root 3 over a positive 23. So either of these answers are fine. Let's do another problem. Here you see that we have powers of i. So if you're unfamiliar with that, you may want to watch the video powers of i. Um, we know that our powers of i are cyclic. In other words, they repeat over and over. Um, we have i, negative 1, negative i, 1. And then uh, for i to the fifth, I have to come back up here to i. So the first thing I want to do is change these uh, powers of i so that we have either i or a constant term. So in my numerator, I have 2, subtract, and then in place of i cubed, I'm going to write negative i, and then plus. 2 times 
times. And then i to the fifth power, we have to come back up and just write i. Right. In the bottom, I have uh, a negative 2i plus 4. Now, when we write complex numbers, we usually write them in the form a plus bi, so that the imaginary part is in the back. So I'm going to change this. It's just the commutative property for addition that allows me to do that, but uh, it looks better when I write it like it's supposed to be. So we have 4, and then the imaginary part is negative 2i, which I wrote back here. Right. Now let's uh, do some more simplifying up here. Um, I have 2, and then this is plus i, and then this is plus 2i, and then I have 4 minus 2i. So I have 2 plus 1i plus 2i is 3i, and divide by 4 minus 2i. Now I'm ready to rationalize the denominator. The conjugate of this binomial is 4 plus 2i, so I'll multiply top and bottom by 4 plus 2i. We'll just use our FOIL on both of these. The numerator, I have 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2i is 4i. And then 3i times 4 is 12i. And then 3i times 2i is 6i squared. In the bottom, I have 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 times 2i is 8i, and then negative 2i times 4 is a negative 8i, and then negative 2i times positive 2i is a negative 4i squared. Now these i squares, this is the same as plus 6 times negative 1, which will be a minus 6. And then this is the same as a negative 4 times negative 1, which is plus 4. So we can combine like terms. In the numerator, I have 8 minus 6, which is 2. And then I have 4 plus 12, which is 16i. In the denominator, I have 8i and negative 8i. Those cancel off. And I have 16 plus 4 is 20. All right. Um, I see that I have a common factor of 2 in all three of my terms. Um, usually, when I'm simplifying a complex number like this, I would like to break it into 2 pieces. So one piece is 2 over 20, and then the other piece is 16i over 20. Once it's split into two terms, then I can simplify it easily, and I won't forget to um, take that factor of 2 out of that second term. 2 over 20 is 1 tenth plus, and then uh, 16 over 20 reduces to 4 fifths. By splitting it, we also have the additional advantage of 
getting my answer in standard form. Remember, standard form for a complex number is a plus bi. So now I know that a is one-tenth and b is four-fifths.